You know, when I first um, heard, God, I actually got this envelope in the mail, and um, I opened it up, and I, I saw it was like, it was a tribute to Jim Croce, and I, I kind of looked at it, and I thought, well, geez, I hope it's not impersonations or, or you know, some sort of a copycat kind of thing. And so I took it home with me, and I put it, I brought it in, and I, I, you know, I always listen to music um, when I get a tape of some sort. I always listen to music like first thing in the morning. So the first thing I did is I put it on, and I went, "Wow, these guys are good." <laughs> and so I picked up, I picked up the phone. I, I didn't pick up the phone. I, I went to my computer, which I do first thing in the morning, and I, I emailed Donna, and I said, uh, and I said, you know, I wonder if. Um, the guys, would, the guys would be interested in coming to Croce's and helping us to celebrate Jim Croce's birthday week. And I was so excited. I, I, I hoped she would say yes. And then she wrote back and said, yes, they'd be, they'd be happy to come. Well, of course. And, you know, when I told her I was going to be able to pay you, and she said, no problem whatsoever. We can do it. And then it was just, it was just, it just was easy. And then all of a sudden, you know, um, you guys showed up at the house. Um, I invited them to come to the house, and I wanted to hear their stories and understand what it was all about, you know, and how you'd gotten to where you were. And you, we shared stories, and you told me things, and I told you things, and we kind of shared back and forth at the house, and then, just like old times. And it felt really good. And right before I went to do the KGB radio station, I had not looked at the video, and I just decided that I got up early that morning, and I decided, because I had to be at the station about 7, and I got up and I, I decided I would just look at that video, and I got to tell you, it just brought tears to my eyes, because I was, I was so excited that this video um, of these guys, it it had nothing to do with impersonation. It had nothing to do with, you know, it was just truly you guys doing the thing. And it felt so good. And I just knew that Jim Croce would have loved this. So it, wow. <laughs> it was just something that, it was so heartfelt. And I could tell that you guys really just loved the music. You enjoyed the music. and. It really made me feel so good. So I just want to that thank you wonderful. both. No, we want to thank you. I want to thank you so much for this opportunity to be here at Croce's Park West and uh, to thank you. Just thank you for doing this. Well, the, the honor is all ours, I assure you. And, and we, we are very excited to be here. This is this is the highlight of 24 years of me playing music for a living, and, and I couldn't be more excited. Well, you know, I, I know that you we talked a little bit about how you started to do this. So fill me in a little bit, or fill the audience in a little bit about how did this all come about? I was that 11, 12-year-old boy with his first guitar and my stepfather owned the largest record store in New Orleans and so I had quite a large collection of uh, LPs and of course 8-tracks and I was just drawn to Jim Croce's music and um, I always thought my parents might be concerned because I was upstairs in my room listening to uh, you know These Dreams and Lover's Cross and Box Number 10 over and over and over again and everyone why is he listening to these songs over and over again? Because I was trying to figure out how to play them. And it just stuck with me over the years. I was just always drawn to Jim's music. It, it spoke to me. I mean, it literally spoke to me. And I guess his ability to paint a picture with words and just wrap the music around it, it was just perfect. I mean, for me, it was just absolutely perfect. And I can honestly say he is the man that that inspired me to be a singer-songwriter, and that's, that's... How did you get involved with that? Well, I've known John for a while, and we've played in the past. He's done some prior recordings that I got to play on, and, and uh, when he came up with the idea of doing this, he approached me, and of course, I'm a little bit younger than John, about 50 years younger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, 
I'm just a few years younger, but uh, I did grow up listening to Croce as well. And like I told you the other day, I remembered seeing their appearance on the Sunny and Cher show, and I remember yes. or Helen Reddy, whichever one it was, uh -huh. and thinking to myself, man, these guys are so good. My dad played music, so I love music as you know from conception, you know. And so, but seeing him play and just remembering his music and time in a bottle stuck in my head. My dad always played it in the bars. He always did all the all the songs. So. I grew up listening to him, not just from Jim Santa, but also from my dad's singer. So I had a real profound love for the music. And just, it reached further than your average song. It just had more depth and body to it than the top 40 songs that were going to So I always loved it. And then as a guitar player, it's extremely challenging as a player. And I mean, just working that out was very uh, therapeutic for me, being able to, to actually work on it long enough where you can actually play these parts it was extremely rewarding it just, it's been great and to be here is you know, you know that's the icing on the cake well i, I again i have to thank both of you for being here and donna for helping to make this happen because it, it is a dream come true for me too oh i'm so excited <laughs> because i always thought maybe we could do some something you know for for a state there'd be a stage show of some sort you know and now i'm just i'm so thrilled i'm just so thrilled that that both of you have put something like this together and well and from, thank the, you. from the very beginning we we've done it with you in mind absolutely thinking what we've always said from the very beginning we want to do every show as if we're sitting in the front row so that was always our intention and to thank actually you. have you sitting in the front row <laughs> It's going to be a lot of fun. Crazy. It's crazy. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, thank you both very much. Thank you. Big thank hugs you. to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.